right, so this is a little bit of a different video. Um, one of my moderators suggested I come through and do this. Just kind of give a breakdown of what I keep in my bag for when I go do on-sites or when I go out to customers, businesses and stuff. Uh, I have a, a, start with the backpack itself. It's a Wen gear. Um, I can't remember the specific model of this, but it's, I've had the same backpack. This is the third time I bought it, but I like it. It's got pretty decent shock absorbing on the, on the actual straps and it's got a lot of decent padding. Um, I guess we'll start, start from the front. I, I don't really keep anything in this front one, but uh, here's where things, that's where I keep stuff I have. For as far as a knife, I have a, just a simple Gerber flip knife. I have a Leatherman uh, Wave. Now, I absolutely love this knife because unlike most Leathermans where the knife blades are on the inside, it has a quickly accessible saw and a quickly accessible knife, and then a, another quickly accessible saw and a quickly accessible file without having to open it up to get to the blades. I, re I really like that. I saw this a long time ago. I've had this for about 10 years now, actually going on 15 years. I really love this thing. And I, I do a lot of work on making sure it stays oiled, stays lubed, making sure that everything with it stays as good as possible. Has your normal, you know, can opener. The, one of the main reasons I, I picked this up originally was for this. It has a set of interchangeable screwdriver bits. So if I'm ever out at either a business or someone's house and I need to, I need like a, a flathead, I got a flathead, I got Torx, I got square bits, I got Allen keys. All of that comes in here and it's, it's got a nice little pocket. The only thing I don't like about the Leatherman Wave is the case. Uh, this is like the third case of this I've had and you can see it just wears through in a very specific spot. So the other side, it has a pair of scissors, which is, uh, which are incredibly sharp. I use them for cutting zip ties and cutting like cables as I need them. This, these things are very good for that. It has a small form factor screwdriver and then it is a, an actual like bottle opener slash little pry tool so the i think the most underrated thing about this is that when you need a full-size screwdriver you actually have a full-size screwdriver with this so you can put it in there you got you can plenty of torque so you're not just trying to use that it's pretty nice so that's the that's the leatherman wave what else do i got in here I'm always walking around with the USB Ethernet adapter. I have Google Pixel Buds, which I, I use for exercise and for when I'm oh, looking for that. For, it's for exercise, and then if I need to get on calls and stuff while I'm out at job sites, um, I have a just a, a quick uh, spring-loaded knife. This is more for hey, I have something that I need to cut open, like a cardboard box. I don't want to destroy the blade on this. Cardboard actually is incredibly damaging to knives. Uh, this, on the other hand, I just I have this. I can just quickly pop it open if I'm opening and closing a lot of boxes. That way I'm not constantly having to, you know, every time I open this, close it, do something, open it, close it. This here I can just open, cut, and back in the pocket. I have a Fisher Space Pen. I always keep one of these on me. It's a full-size writing instrument. It writes in water, writes upside down, writes in zero gravity. These things are designed for NASA, for the Apollo missions. These things are great. They're, they're refillable and they're extremely compact. So I, it doesn't take up a lot of room. I don't have to worry about the ink linking out. And then when you want to write something, it's a full-size pen. So you, you can't, really, can't really complain about that. I used to keep it here with a little strap underneath this to hold it in place. But as you can see, that, that broke. And that's that. And then I keep some, let's see, this is, 
Oh, there. So I also keep just some nostalgic things here. This is from when I first started my business. The very first business card I ever designed. There. Yeah. Old phone numbers that don't work anymore on them. I keep stack of just regular everyday business cards so that way I have them. Then I have my lockpick set. And this is, uh, I use this, I lockpick for fun. But I have used this at customers' businesses where they've locked their keys in. They know that I have these things. So sometimes I can get in depending on the style of lock. Once I know how the lock works, I can get in pretty good. It's just, I have a couple different sets in here. I have just your standard actual individual picks. We got a bunch of rakes. These are the danger field picks. You can see this is probably my most common rake right here. You can see it's got a nice little, nice little bend to it. Yeah, so we have a lot of we have a lot of rakes. We have a lot of individual picks. Funny story, uh, a couple years ago, when I, right when I first got into lock picking, I decided to pick the locks on our office here. And this this pick was an exact match for the key for the office. So I just happened I had my and my tensioner in the lock. And I just like, all right, let's, let's see if I am good at, uh, gonna be okay at doing this. As I slid it in, it just opened up. And I was like, oh, that's probably not good. So we got our locks replaced immediately after that. That was a, a f interesting little find, but yeah. So that's my, that's my lock pick set. I generally try and keep them separated by um, picks on the left, rakes on the right. That way, when I know I need something, like I know right where to go with it. It's just a just a fun little hobby. Something to do with with the hands. So let's put these. Let's get these back in here. We can move through. Yeah, the 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 Praxis Danger Fields is the second set I got. The first one I got was uh, Sparrows. I like the I like the sparrows. It should be all of that. Yep. So that's that. Uh, something I take in and out every day is my LTT screwdriver. I, like, I always keep try and keep like a full size screwdriver on me. Since I've gotten this thing, this has become my, my primary workhorse. I have the black one, and I will probably at some point get a re-anodization kit so I can keep anodizing this black, but it, it looks good for now. All right, next, what do we got here? We have my IODD. This, this is a device that plugs in either via USB-C or USB-A. It allows me to load up ISOs and encrypt files. So I can load any number of ISOs onto this and then using the on the screen, just press a couple buttons, and I can access basically any ISO that I've ever made. So like normally on here, I have an ISO for Hiram's Boot CD. I have the Windows installers. I have a Rufus ISO. I have a Dart ISO. But yeah, and then the other part of this that's nice is I, the reason I always try and keep this with me is I, if I need to do a backup of somebody's computer, I can just plug this in. I can use this as a backup drive and then I can encrypt everything, put a password on it, and that way the customer's data doesn't have a potential of leaking out. And then I have a couple masks for situations where I might need a I might need a mask, either a very dusty situation, or if I'm working in a situation where I'm going into someone's house where they're where they are generally sick on a regular basis. I had a, one customer who was on oxygen had like, I was, I think they were missing a lung. And during COVID, I always had one of these on me because if I was sick for some reason, they needed me out there. I didn't want to get them sick. So this is a little, little pill holder. 
We have just some simple things that I might need. We got Tums, Lactaid, Aleve, Tylenol, Advil. It's surprise. My wife got me this, and I've like I always try and keep this thing topped up. It's surprisingly useful because you never know when you might need, you know, a Tums or someone might need an Advil or Tylenol. It's nice to have. All right, what else we got in here? And I think that's it. So just gonna, right now I got a book in there that's. You know, my wife had got me that I'm, I'm working my way through letters from the Greek club. And actually, pretty useful book. All right, next. Next, we have notebooks. Now, I keep, I generally try and keep notebooks on me for, for if I'm in a meeting and I just need to take some quick notes or I'm doing a layout for something or I have a sudden idea. It's nice to be able to sketch out, hey, this is like, this is the wallflower holder that I've, I've been designing and, and working on. Glass cover stuff. This is a side panel for a computer. These are individual panels. I have Blender commands. I have uh, Linux commands. I have Windows commands written down in here just in case I ever need it and I don't have access to either the internet because sometimes I end up in places where internet isn't so great. All right, so yeah, so that's what I use these for. Same with this, use this for sketching when I have ideas, layouts. I use this for D&D for &D where I was drawing up some maps um, and just generally, just generally for designing things and how I wanted stuff to, stuff to work. So notebooks, they're actually incredibly, incredibly useful, especially if you tinker, you make stuff. All right, then we have, this is a recent edition keyboard. This is a Newfi Field 75. I uh, I had I'd always wanted a 75% keyboard, and the opportunity came up for me to get this relatively cheap, and I did, and I like this. I've enjoyed using this so far. Uh, the only thing I've done is obviously swap the keycaps and just remapped some of the buttons. I haven't done anything with the the to make it more custom than that per se. There's that. And then I have the, I got to get a little carrying case. This is new enough that I need to get the, they actually sell a carrying case for this that I'm probably going to end up buying. That's the palm rest. And we have the USB cord for that. I actually ordered another one so that I have one here. I have one at my house so that way I don't have to keep unplugging and plugging stuff in. Got the power cord from a laptop, which we'll pull out here in a second. This is, it's a, 180 watt charger gives you an idea what kind of laptop I'm using and I think that's it and then I have another thing that is surprisingly useful and most people don't carry mechanical pencil it's always nice to have a mechanical pencil so that if you're ever in a situation where you need to make some marks on some wood you got you got something to make marks on wood all right I have my iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard. I I use this for when I'm in meetings where I don't have a lot of space and I need to take just quick notes of stuff. Uh, I, the main reason I acquired this, I generally don't, like I'm not a Mac person or an Apple person. The re main reason I got this is because I needed uh, one piece of functionality that this had, which is a LiDAR so that I could do 3D scanning of objects for my 3D printing. So we have this, we have a turntable that I can put objects on to scan. Just start up, there's a couple different pieces of software that I use on here. Um, let's see if I can find this. The main one that I use is, where is it? It's been a little bit since I've used it. Uh, Scandi Pro and Polycam. So those are the two main ones that I use. Got an Apple Pencil. Uh, I also use this when I'm doing 3D models of stuff that I want to do just a little bit more complex than what uh, Tinkercad can do. And I use Shaper 3D. This is generally just a quick hey, I need to, I want to sit down, take some notes about something, write something out real quick. 
that's mainly what this is for. It's a little bit overkill for that, but I really, really needed that, that LiDAR that this came with. And then finally, the last thing that's in here is my, I have an ROG, which one is this? This is the GA401Q. I needed a laptop. I had a relatively old, um, what was it? I had a, the Surface Studio, not Surface Studio, a Surface Book 1. And it was, it was starting to get, it was starting to show its age. So I ended up getting, getting this as a replacement. I just needed something where like sometimes on the fly, I'll, I'll sit on my couch and I'll do video editing or I'll do just a little bit of coding. I just needed something that had like a dedicated GPU so that I wouldn't, I didn't have to sit in my office at all times and do everything I needed. I use this for meetings for everything. And basically since day one, the speakers on this have never worked. So that's something eventually I'll take it apart and look at. And one thing I'm noticing, my backpack is staining this laptop. You can see it's got a nice red, it's got actually a little bit of a red hue on both corners. But yeah, that's everything that's in my bag. I'm gonna carry this stuff around with me basically everywhere I go. So let me know what's in your bag. Post it in the comments, post it in the Discord. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out. I'll catch you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradensonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.